Hi, my name is Anthony Ferretti. I'm with the Hidden Hanger here in the workshop, and we are going to do a demonstration on how to solder connections. Okay, for our first connection, we're going to solder up Traxxas. The way these work, they have two positive and negative uh, gold plated pieces. So, what we're going to do, doesn't matter which one you start with, we'll start with the positive today. I'm going to take it. Take the, uh, the wire, just cut off just deep enough, as you will take notice, there is a line. You cannot solder past that line. So we're going to take, we're going to strip off just enough insulation. What we're going to do is we're going to set everything up in our jig. We're going to pre-tint this wire. And as you heat this up, you're going to put a little bit on your soldering iron, like that. Just touch it to your wire because you want the heat to transfer, and then take your 6040 solder and actually put it right onto the wire itself. And as you will see, the solder will flow inside the wire. Once that's pre tinted, set that aside for a second, and we're going to pre tint the connection. What we're going to do is we're going to simply do it quickly so not to have the solder, solder flow too far. Just simply sit the solder right on where you're going to solder and touch it with the heat, like that. Now that's a properly pre-tinted so connection for Traxxas. What we're gonna do is we're gonna heat this back up just to get it a little bit of solder on there. With that heat on there, we're gonna touch the two together. Give it a second to solder. And that's what a perfectly good solder joint would look like. Now, if you happen to actually flow past that line, what you can simply do is get a pair, get a knife. Solder is soft, so you can just cut down where the line is and then cut over. What that will do, that will notch out where that line is. Once you have that, you can go ahead and install. In this connector, there's a positive and negative pre-marked on it. Just simply take your connector slide it in once that's in there it's not properly seated until it's flush so what we're going to do is take a pair of needle nose and with the the point and a hard surface take it and push right on to that connector until you hear it click once you hear it click and is now properly seated you can proceed to go ahead and work on the other connection again we're going to strip just a little off and, to, and for a gauge, what you can do, set this up in your solder jig, set it right on the gauge. Once that's lined up with that line, I mean, you can do a little bit less, but a proper connection will be as much as possible. So, once we've done that, we're going to take the wire again, and we're going to pre-tint. Again, adding a little solder to your soldering iron. Touch the connection and add your solder. It will flow evenly onto the wire, like such. Once you have that done, you're going to pretint the probe. Once that's done, things the jigs up makes it easy. What you can do is just place the two wires together, heat it up. Once it flows together, you have a great connection. Push it right into your Traxxas connector. Seat it all the way in as far as you can. Again, hard surface. Take a needle, needle nose. Push it straight into a clicks. Once it's clicked, it will never come out unless it's pushed. Now, moving on to a Deans. Deans connector. It's a little easier to do a Deans connector because it's already assembled for you but the trick is you cannot get the terminals too hot if you t get the terminals too hot they'll actually melt the holder so and then you have a working surface of approximately eighth of an inch so that's how much you're going to clip off your wire once you take that off pre-tin your wire add 
add a little solder to it let the heat transfer to the wire and add solder to the wire what this is doing this is resin core solder there's actually a little bit of flux inside this and what you're doing when it smokes that's the resin core solder actually burning off and cleaning the wire once that's clean since we're working with positive lead now there's a vertical and there's a horizontal connect uh, connector on this positive is always your vertical part of your connector so what we're going to do with the jigs up being square you can lay it on side take the solder lay it across the terminal and just touch it with heat if your irons hot enough it will flow evenly onto the connector once you have that you can take your wire lay the two connections together and just heat up the bigger part of the two metals which in this case is the terminal once you do that let it cool down and as you can see pull this out of the jig as you can see the solder has flown evenly and making a little fillet a fillet around the wire you cannot see any of the you cannot see any of the strands in the wire once once that's done you made a great connection and we'll go on to the positive wire here or the negative wire again trimming a little off kind of screwed up I didn't put the heat shield on it once you have that add heat to it put a little solder on there touch your wire add solder onto the wire now with that being in there place it back in the jigs up pre-tint your connector just so there's a little puddle take your two connections heat just the connector and when you get the flow going hold your connector there now once you're done it should with proper temperature you should have a shiny surface if it's a dull surface you did not get it hot enough so you can go back and just reheat it okay. the next connector we have here is the second most popular connector uh, it's called the XT60 connector you get it on a lot of your batteries when you order them off the internet um, for this one it's pretty easy take the connector stick it into the jigs up to it clamps it tight now the trick with these are you cannot heat these up too much if you heat these up this plastic is a lower temperature than any of the the other popular connectors you will uh, melt these off center if that's the case then you have to restart over so with this connector it's pretty easy take the eighth of an inch off of insulation like so once you have the insulation off we're going to pre-tint the wire now with that pre-tinted, we're going to take the positive end. Now these are clearly marked on these connectors. We're going to take the positive and pre-tint this also, just, just a little bit. You don't want to over pre-tint it and then you have all this solder that will come oozing out. Take your heat shrink tubing, slide it on. Take your wire, stick it in the cup. And add heat to both of them. What you're going to do is get a nice flow covering your connector once that's done you can slide your heat shrink tubing down add your heat shrink tubing to the other one and strip that wire again one eighth pre-tint that once you have just a little bit of glob of solder slide your connector in Heat them together. Once you feel that the solder is melted, pull away. Hold there for a split second. Now you're done. Now you slide your heat shrink tubing down. And now you can 
heat up your shrink tubing so it shrinks down. And that's how you properly solder a connection. My name is Anthony Freddy. Hope you enjoyed yourself. You can find out more about our store on Facebook. Look us up at THHRC. Thank you.